Hello, happy sketching. First and most important rule, let the line flutter. Now we start sketching, which means hard work. It's a matter of concentration. If you are not ready to be concentrated, then do not start sketching. In this case, um, wait a little and prepare yourself by arranging items around you. This will help. Now when we are ready we start with the line and actually we start with how to draw a line. It's about the how. Here I have a normal pencil graded HB. It is sharpened but not really ultimately sharp. We will see that we can do a lot with the width of a line, respectively, with the width of the tool that triggers the line, because the width of the line must always be chosen in relation to the sketch. This means here I have more information than I can put in here, so I would need a larger sketch or a smaller tool. Small sketches means sharp tool, larger sketch means bold tool. Then a quick word about the paper. This is just an ordinary 80 gram piece of paper as it is used in printers or drawing pads. Uh, whenever we sketch, we never sketch with a single sheet of paper on the table. The best surface for drawing is a bundle of paper. Every table surfaces has a kind of a texture, grain, or it is completely flat. Neither of these is suitable for us. So now all is said and done. We can proceed. The, sharp, the shape giving or the searching line should always be drawn only as fast as we master it. So this is not that fast. I'll do analogy. an analogy. You have probably seen children on the ski slope going down the mountain so fast that it takes us feel a little queasy watching. Also, this usually works well with children, but there we clearly see that the speed is too fast and that the line can't be really be steered that way. We lead the line deliberately. We lead it thoughtful. and agile. Agile is an important term because in the agility of the stroke the observer recognizes the creator of the stroke and it is precisely this human origin that fascinates us in the hands drawn sketches. What could be more exciting than human beings for humans. So we exploit it and draw the line with great agility. But agile is still an abstract term. What does it actually mean? It means being highly mobile, agile and active. So let's take highly mob mobile first. How much can we dare? I have now made some strokes here. All of them show flexibility. Some are perhaps too much moved. It's almost like a manierist wriggle. Where is the line? Where it starts to be manieristic 
and where it's always uh, really coming from the origin. Other lines are maybe too straight or there are lines that are boring. Yes, yes, there are really boring strokes when they have no agility in them, but sometimes this is helpful. I'll try one here. Mm, not so easy. Uh, but uh, maybe like this. The term alert for a stroke um, is exciting. Adapted to my impulses, always different when I have again a landscape and I'm alert. There is no repetition. The line is always drawn differently. This is agile. I describe it as reacting quickly to appropriate handling due to special agility. The nimble stroke thus constantly reacts to what is at hand. Sometimes I'm not conscious about what my stroke does, but yes, I'm working with it. The stroke sometimes is faster than my brain or not conscious. The movement of the hand must be constantly compared with the model. This is a quick back and forth of brain and hand and brain and hand and brain and hand. I feel this inner exchange between hand and head like a crossfire, but only in the first two seconds because then it suddenly begins to take on a life of its own. And And this flow is then very calm and eternal. So why is the most important drill now called let the line flutter? Because this few lines, the activity and the agile lead to, and the agile leads to a line that looks like it is fluttering in the end. When we re in the point where drawing becomes an independent process, drawing feels as light as the fluttering of the line in a moving breeze. And this is great. This is exactly, exactly what we can practice while sketching with the lessons and days. You will succeed better and better. And of course, you are then in the flow as a whole person. This is why it's worth sketching ideas because it tickles your brain and makes you creative because of this fourth and back of hand and brain. By the way, this is coming, this coming into the flow happens much, much easier on paper because we can work directly connected paper to brain and the reason why this is so important we will talk about later.